As Spain's borrowing costs pushed it closer to needing a full bailout, the country's finance minister has been asking for help from his French counterpart. He got the Paris government's support for fast implementation of a European agreement to use bailout funds to stabilise the region's bond markets. Both ministers stressed the high interest rates Madrid is having to pay to borrow don't reflect Spain's economic fundamentals. This economist says solutions will have to come from outside Spain. They could come either from the European Central Bank if it decides to buy Spanish bonds on the secondary market so that yields fall. Another solution is for the European Rescue Fund to buy public debt. If not, we'll have a full-scale bailout and a bailout of the Spanish economy. That would represent a lot of money for Europe. The pressure is on Spain's government because it has to borrow 50 billion euros by the end of the year to pass on to its heavily indebted regions and to fund a higher-than-expected deficit. The European Central Bank helped earlier in the year by putting out 1 trillion euros in cheap loans. But now that money is gone and even Spanish banks are not enthusiastic about buying the country's bonds.